Gentlemen, we have a new tool to play with today, a brand new thickness planer. Let me show you why I'm sharing this with you. As most of you guys know, I have a Lucas sawmill that produces really beautiful rough cut full dimension lumber. Well, that's great for building houses and sheds and things, but when it comes to doing small projects or fine woodworking, to turn this into a usable or fine, a fine woodworking piece of wood uh, it takes a lot of work. And in the past, I've done it all by hand with hand planes. And to be honest with you, I end up not doing stuff because it's just so much effort. But I have so much of this stuff. I have two by fours, I've got two by sixes, uh, eights, twelves, all kinds of things that I just never used because I never had a planer. This will put things into perspective. I called Home Depot this morning and I priced this two by six select deck, 16 feet long. Each board, $35. That's $100 for three boards, which gives you what? 14 inches of coverage? Seems to me at these prices, it doesn't take long to pay for a tool like a thickness planer. It's gonna be just in time. The rain is just starting, and this is uh, the last of the wood that I need to bring in. Now, in the past, a lot of these things, this is all stuff that we've cut on the sawmill, uh, some of it Bob sawmill, but beautiful dug fir that I would have just cut up and burned as for firewood because it had warps or twists or I just didn't want to fool with it. But man, not anymore. Uh, this is very valuable. If you understood the effort that goes into producing lumber, into dimensional lumber like this from the tree, uh, it, it, it's shocking the amount of effort and resources that go into that and I, I just don't take it for granted anymore. I was going to do this outside. These planers make a lot of dust, but I do have a really good shop vac, so I'm going to try hooking that up. This planer actually has a chip fan inside, of course, not compatible size-wise, that blows chips out through this port. And this shop vac is pretty powerful and it has a sealed bag, so we'll just use a little gaffer's tape on here and tape this up. The controls all look very simple. We have a, uh, this raises the carriage up and down. Looks like we have a limit of six inches maximum depth, 13 inches this way. This removal gauge here tells us how much material we're going to remove per pass uh, by sliding it in here. And we can see right there as we go up and down more or less. We are on coarse cuts. We'll try coarse and fine, see, see if there's much difference. Okay. I was expecting a lot more drama with that machine, but what a nice smooth machine to use and not overly quiet there's zero dust in the shop i mean i'm looking through the lights and there's nothing a few chips on the ground but everything sucked up by the vacuum so that's something that i can use inside the shop as long as i have the vacuum hooked up to it but look at the results that is nice three blades on this planer of course they're new but man that is nice i cut eighth inch it seemed to go through that no problem 30 seconds seemed to like that bit better but this is coarse right here Let's finish it up and uh, see what the fine looks like on the other side. It said the proof is in the eating of the pudding. There you have it. Look at that, a beautiful piece of five quarter that's hard to even find to buy that stuff, and now we can make our own. I don't know why I didn't get one of these a long time ago. I, I, the last time I think I used a planer was in high school, so I must have been 17, 18. It was one of those big, huge industrial ones. So when I think of planer, I was like, it kind of, I have all of this, this, uh, these negative connotations from all of the violence and the drama those big ones make. But this is quite civilized, beautiful results. Uh, I just don't have any complaints. It's civilized, easy to use, not. Just, uh, my initial imp imp impressions are good. I'll put a link to this if you're interested. Uh, guys always ask. This is I, I paid full price for this. When everything was said and done, the, these planers are about 700 bucks or so. This obviously is a DeWalt. Uh, and then with the, they had a, a package with the cart, which is a quite a, a nice cart, and I would recommend that because this thing weighs 97 pounds, so just about 100 pounds. Uh, cart and an extra set of knives came in at... Um, about a thousand bucks. 
but you can do a lot of boards. You can't buy a lot of boards for a thousand bucks anymore, uh, and this is going to be a great addition to the shop. All right, that's it. Uh, the rain is starting. I'm going to go fork my scraps in here and start planting and get them put away for winter, and I'm sure you'll be seeing some of these pieces again this winter. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video.